Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Free Race! And today we're going to play the very exciting game, Push! Repackage! Release! Very exciting. Very exciting. It's a, this is part two. Part two. Part and, two. uh, it's, uh, trending everywhere. I, I play this everywhere. I play this with my friends at the beach. The family. The family. Fun for all ages, 8 to 80. <laughs> Not the bar. 81, though. At the bar. Yeah, oh yeah, you get the bar, the movie theater. Oh wait, no, that's, oh. that's not a good spot to play. Well, yeah, I might annoy some theater. people. Yeah. I've gotten kicked out of some movies. I got kicked out of uh, the new Avengers movie by because I was playing this game. I'm, I'm so addicted <laughs> to this game. Oh yeah, no, well, that's that's society for you. Yeah, I guess apparently they don't like people talking during movies for whatever reason. No, so so weird. <laughs> okay, so anyways, so. Who's our first name? Our first name is the X-Man, Axelmania, Curtis Axel. Well, you're excited for him. <laughs> I'm not. This thing, this Axelmania junk is garbage and it just needs to end. So, I'm going to be super mean and say release oh, because... Because <laughs> you think about it, this guy... He's Audrey Hulk Hogan. <sighs> right. He's more like know. spitting in his face. <laughs> Probably. Any, anyways... This guy has had every chance to kind of make a name for himself. Granted, there's a few times where they mishandled him, and that's not his fault. But he had his opportunity with Ryback, with the tag team, Axel. That worked pretty decently, but it never really got over as well as it could. Um, his re-debut as Curtis Axel after... Um, coming from being Michael McGillicuddy in the Nexus, you know, that had a little bit of hype, but I think the issue was too much was made of him. His relate, obviously, he's the son of Mr. Perfect, the grandson of uh, the Ham. Or, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna even say his name because I'll mess it up <laughs> and I'll embarrass myself, of Larry Axel. So that's oh, okay. where they got the name from, Curtis and Axel. I see. Um, so he, ha he has this very prestigious wrestling bloodline, and they really pushed that as the thing, and it never really worked for him. So, you know, I, I think it's time. They got their roster's pretty loaded at this point, so it's not like, you know, him being gone will be missed exactly. It's not like he adds anything. And plus, you can either just push someone that's already on the roster or use someone from NXT and give them the spot, which usually those are the ones that have better success. So I'm going to say just caught him. You know, he'll do fine in the indies for sure. You know, he's, he's a very recognizable name. They can play off his father's name, and he can make yeah. just as much money, <laughs> if not maybe even more, doing indie <clears throat> wrestling. I mean, he's not great on the mic. But that segment with him and Sandow was pretty funny. Yeah, no, that was funny. He can definitely, this this gimmick, character, whatever it is, you know, it can be humorous with yeah. the right person, but <clears throat> overall, it's to me, it's kind of lame and stupid. So I don't, you can't take it serious. It hasn't gotten him anywhere other than it's just being squashed in matches over and over and over. So, yeah. Right. Right, I'm going to say, just let the guy go. Let him, let him be a success. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I never saw the movie. Oh, That's the only delights I know. <laughs> you missing out. So much agree. <laughs> okay, so who's the next wrestler? All right, the next one is Xavier Woods. All right, well, this is kind of interesting in a way because the new day just won the tag team belts, and most people uh, Kill me. don't really care for them. And it sucks, too, because they're all very talented. It's just that they need a different gimmick. So I say repackage. Repackage. And, yeah, okay, they have the belts, but still, repackage because this is easy. Just based on the fans' reaction, they're not getting over it all. And, yeah, okay, getting heat as opposed to getting a silent reaction is gr good, of course, because right. the worst kind of reaction is the crowd just sits there and doesn't react. Doesn't do but at the same time, I mean, 
I don't know. They they just need to be repackaged somehow. This yeah. this is just getting annoying in my opinion. So I don't know what exactly what they would do with him, but they just need to do something else. I'd like to see him as a singles competitor again. And Biggie and Kofi as all singles. I know we're not talking about them, but yeah, I say repackage. Okay, all right. No, well, that's fair. That's fair. So our next one. All right, next one. Our truth. Our all the truth. See, I, I love our truth. And it, his career though has been so up and down. He had that stint where he was ta- where he was tagging with Miz, and I and I like that tag team. Him and Miz was very entertaining. And even though not a lot of other people liked it, I liked the little Jimmy thing. I'm sorry, it was hilarious. It was funny. He he just sold it so well. Um, I'm gonna say repackage, and I want to see it him more serious of a wrestler because he's had these goofy gimmicks and really funny. Even when he was a heel, he was kind of goofy still. So you couldn't take him serious as a heel. I'd like to see a complete, you know, 180, you know, turnaround and see him more serious. Like, I don't know what that gimmick looks like exactly, but him dropping the rapping, even though, Great singer, and it's a yeah. good way. It's a good way to get the crowd going, and it works. Yeah, but I think repackage because I think if you turn him into a more serious wrestler, you'll get you'll get the true reaction from the crowd. I, I would assume he would be repackaged to a heel, and then he could probably get the heel heat. And then, you know, he's a good wrestler in, in ring, so you can put some, together some good matches, and I can see him with a belt, with a, you know, singles belt again. That'd be but, pretty cool. Plus, not only that, not only he's a good wrestler, he has good mic skills. Oh, yeah. And he has charisma. Yeah. Like, oh, some yeah. of these wrestlers aren't very good on the mic, as you know. Yeah. So. He's definitely very good on the mic, so I'd, li- I'd like to see him keep that, but be more serious. I know that kind of contradicts a little bit but yeah he he'd probably find a way to make it work because he's he's played different gimmicks but they've all been that like fun loving kind of face character yeah so for our last name keeping it with the tradition of ending it on a diva i'm gonna say emma what do you think of emma i like her i think she's really talented but i mean when was the last time she actually wrestled it's very rare we see her, and if if we do, it's more of she's mixed in with, like, a big tag match, or, like, she's on a battle royale or something. And she's not even, like, at least with Summer Rae or Rosa, I think her name is, like, they're with people. They, like, Summer Rae's with The Miz, well, temporarily. I mean, it's not a long-term thing, but, yeah. like, they give them, even if they're not wrestling, they the WWE gives them something to be yeah. part of the show. Right. Emma has nothing right now. Yeah, right now she's been showing up in NXT a lot, so... So, I say... I don't know. Repackage? Maybe? For a release? I, I'm a, I'll pick one. I say repackage. repackage because uh, I, you never really seen her... Like, she never really got the opportunity to shine. In my opinion, yeah, okay, you saw her in some matches here and there, but, I mean... She did have a segment of time where she was the NXT diva that came up, was called up, and she had her thing with Santino, which was funny, but that was her chance, you know? And she could have done more to, like, wow the crowd into liking her. And, yeah, the da 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 and the dance, you know, it was kind of fun, but... You know, those things don't really last. So no, I no. got to wonder what's next in line for her. I, I, from what I'm seeing in NXT, she's, I think, coming more of a heel, I think, because the last little video I saw of her <clears throat> was she was coming out and interfering with one of Bailey's matches. And Bailey's a big, Interesting. big time face in NXT. So, um,. You know, I, I guess I would say repackage too, just because I'd want to see if she could take a different character and run with it. But if not, then just release her because you still have other people that are established 
uh, uh, other divas that are established. And then you also have just the best of the best in NXT. You can That's call true. Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey, any of them, and they would automatically just rejuvenate that divas division. So Yeah, I was kind of on the fence between repackage and release, but I'm going to say give her another shot and then see what happens from there. No, if that's fair. Yeah, no, I, I, that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's all these are. Yep, sharing opinions. So yeah, we. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say maybe we yell that because we're saying you know release or repackage someone's favorite wrestler, but hey, you know, it's just our opinions. Yeah. That's all. Conversation <clears throat> started. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> ah, coughing a lot. Uh oh. So thanks for watching, and uh, like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at Free Grants and. Subscribe. We, we, we really appreciate it. Our fan base is growing slowly but surely. We have about 150 likes now. We have 149 likes as of right now, this second. So if you're the 150th like, you're not going to get a prize. We'll give you a high five through the internet. Yeah. And right. I'll give you a shout out on the page. How there about that? There you go. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Peace. Word. <laughs>